A quick note from the future about the past. I've been playing this game quite a bit off recording because there was a lot of stuff in town I missed, but it was a lot of running back and forth, looking through buildings, and only occasionally finding something worth showing off. So instead of recording any of that and just cutting through it, you know, a few seconds at a time, I decided to just do that all off camera and then explain it a bit later when I go to build my vehicle. So if you're wondering why a lot of things look different, such as my stats here, a lot of my skills have gone up, I've got one more point of strength, you know, stuff like that. If you're wondering where it came from, it came from doing busy work off camera. Now, onto the proper intro, onto the wizard tower. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cataclysm, as well as Freddy's adventure through it. I have some good news, some mixed news, and just some explaining to do. First off, the good news. I found a way into the wizard tower's third floor, that way being a sledgehammer and this wall that's actually wooden and not brick. The mixed news is that I have no idea how many golems are in this floor or above it. I also don't know if there are any books here and I'm just wasting my time, but hopefully not. As for the explaining, I will do that later if I haven't done it in a clip before this one. So, first, I need to get away from this golem and get my fire axe out, because I'm pretty sure the sledgehammer is going to tire me out too quickly. Back downstairs. Let's go down this way. Close the door. Turn on my headlamp. And wield my fire axe from a firefighter's belt that I picked up. Just playing around off-screen for quite quite some time. Got my sledgehammer, because I probably won't need it. Alright, where's that golem? Didn't follow me downstairs. Let's wait until I catch my breath. Alright. Oh, not examine. Eat. Oh, it's fine. Just have some caffeine. Here we go. Oh, it's not trying to bash its way through here. Heavy duty flashlight. With no battery in it. A normal shovel. Grab. Push. Flashlight. What's a uh, cherry can? Let's see, do I have anything to do? No, I don't have anything to throw at that golem until it comes after me. Does it not know I'm here? Oh. Well, there's two. It's on the table there. A proper toolbox. Nice. Another beginner's guide to magic. A concrete mixer. Sure, I'll take it. And a hand drill. You gotta sit right here. Wait, come on. No. Hmm. Got a slight problem here. Come on, be baited. I'm here. There we go. <laughs> oh. Hit my headlamp. They're switching places. This is not going to work. If I can just bring down one, I can leave, heal, and deal with the others. It's my encumbrance. About normal. Come on, go down. Go down. That's you. There we go, one down. And of course it ripped my travel pack. And we're running away properly. Go this way, close the door. Back to walking. Out the window. That's one golem down. <laughs> How beat up is my clothing? Oh, not as bad as I thought. Just one hit each on my jumpsuit, travel pack, and headlamp. Alright then. 
Take a drink. Moderate pain. Two aspirin. <laughs> a chihuahua. Apparently this chihuahua is hostile, so the game keeps freaking out every time it shows up. But I'm not scared of a normal chihuahua. Where is it? Yeah, here we are. It's, it's not even a zombified chihuahua, it's just a normal tiny dog. It's some meat jerky. That one is good, and back in we go. Don't really need to heal just yet. Is there anything I can drop? Not especially. I probably should have brought my shotgun. One of my shotguns, because I knew I was going to be fighting in close quarters against big enemies. I didn't think quite that far ahead before breaking down the wall, and I wanted to start off right there. Ready for critical hits. No, no, stop regenerating. Fight me. Rip my travel pack again. It's healing faster than I'm damaging it. There we go, another crit. Come on. There we go. Plastic golems down. Two of them, at least. I hope they don't get back up. Something tells me they don't, but... I really hope they don't get back up if you don't cut them to pieces. If we're gonna leave that there... If I drop this, yeah, that's all of my storage space. I'll just have to be careful. Let's draw my 45, put my fire axe back in the belt. There's something in there. That's a different room entirely. Upstairs, anybody home? Does not appear so. Hmm. So what do we have here? Huge mana crystal. Enchanter's workbench. And I, I, I don't quite remember how to say that word. I know what it is. It's a model solar system. But I don't rem remember how to say it. Romance novel. Scroll of Sacrificial Regrowth. Restore... Huh. And it will teach me the spell. Okay. I probably won't use that, but I'll take it for now. A Playboy magazine. Definitely not magical. Not in the sense that, I, that I'm looking for. What's this? An Alembic. Is this it? Is this it? I think this might be it. I don't see another way up. There's not even anything in the fridge. This wizard tower continues to be disappointing. Oh, and I tried the sledgehammer on the metal door. Uh, it, it's not going to get through that way either. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take my sledgehammer to this stone wall here and see if I can get any sort of headway. Uh, turns out, no. So I still can't get into whatever that room is, but something tells me it's not going to have anything interesting anyway. Darn. What a disappointing special building. Don't need the shovel. I've actually found a few folding shovels, some trenching tools. Grab the concrete mixer, grab the hand drill, why not? Don't need these. Really want that toolbox. It's just going to be very good for working on stuff at whatever base I end up with. There's really nothing up here. There's really nothing up here. Can I do anything with that? No. 
Can I do anything? Nope. Hmm. I'm gonna do something really dumb, so hang on just a moment. Got a quick save. I'm going to hit this mat this huge mana crystal with my sledgehammer. Alright. It didn't explode. That's good. Huh. I probably should have deconstructed it like fire chair, huh? Oh well, too late. I was only gonna go back if it blew up or something. Crystallized mana. Okay, so these are magic batteries. Yeah, I know there are footsteps. Can I smash through the floor? I might be able to smash through the floor. Get to that room that way. Yeah, we'll do it right there. Uh, after I catch my breath. After Freddy catches his breath. That is. Ignore. Bop. Bop. This isn't... Yep, it's not working. Darn it. Can I deconstruct the floor? Hmm. No. No, I can't. Darn it. Nope. Well, I guess that's it for this wizard tower. As much as I would like it to be more than this. Unless I get a jackhammer, I'm not getting into whatever that room is. And I get the feeling that there's nothing good in there anyway. <sighs> Versus. Alright. Back to camp, because I've got some vehicle work to do. A lot of vehicle work to do. Some of which I will properly show. The rest of it, maybe not, because it's not going to show up very well anyway. I will be right back. Okay, we are back at camp. We've dropped off our stuff. I've got a lot of extra stuff I would like to point out while I'm here. One major thing. Yeah, here it is. I found this while I was clearing out a little bit of the railway station. Turns out there's a group of zombies that's too dense in there for me to really do anything against. I might get brave and use molotovs or something, but really I'd like to move on from this area. So I found a good 223 carbine. I found some more ammunition. What was this? Ah oh, yes. I found this very powerful sniper rifle, I'm not quite sure when. And I've got a fair number of extra tools. Let's see if I can find out where I put them. Oh yes. I also took the time to set up loot zones because it was becoming a problem. I've been here too long. All of my stuff is starting to pile up again. I've made myself a chemistry set. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I found the concrete mixer in the wizard tower just now. Found a cordless drill. Found a tablet PC, which will be useful later. Found some entrenching tools, I'm carrying one right now. It's essentially a folding shovel, very useful. What else we got? I know I have more stuff in here. It's just a matter of finding it in this massive list of stuff. Oh yeah, that oracalcum bicycle that I stumbled upon. Turns out it can fold, it's got all the right pieces to do so, so I folded up sorry, folded it up and brought it with me. I'm not sure if I'll ever actually use it, but eventually I will cut it up for its folding oracalcum frames and build something different out of those. Where Alright, looks like that's all I left in this pile. The other important stuff. I've got pieces to apply to this fire truck I've brought over here. Its frames are all heavy duty. It's got a lot of room to work with. Right, the engine's about toast, but I can fix that. I've got a better engine over here in this vehicle. It's in this APC. 
Yeah, this is a gasoline engine, so I won't be using this one. I won't use the diesel engine just because gasoline can be used for other things, and you find diesel in larger amounts. Usually. I've got my big batteries over here, because I built myself a makeshift arc welder. I'm going to need this to do all of my vehicle work, or basically all of my vehicle work. I have a bottle jack, in case I need to replace tires, because I found this in town. I've got an extra alternator. I found a decent condition mini fridge and kitchen unit, which are going in the fire truck. Security camera. And the camera system. Yeah, I've got camera displays for it too. Some extra tanks of diesel and gasoline. And a very large number of solar panels for this point. Now, I'm going to build two smaller vehicles first. So I'm going to need my welder. So I need to make many pieces. I've got quite the shopping list here. This is going to be most of this episode, so... I hope you don't mind seeing what's going on here. First off, we need... Two of these, foldable light frames. And as you can see, they take up quite a few charges with this makeshift welder. But they don't take very long at all to make. Just gonna, oh, nope, not gonna pick those up because they're a bit too big. Then I need a telescopic cantilever, which I can use to lift engines when it's on a vehicle. Just build that out of scrap metal, it'll be fine. Then I need... a folding wire basket. I'm going to make a folding shopping cart. A hoarder's best friend. Then I will also need... Where is it? I will need a workbench. A proper metal workbench that I can install in the fire truck to make my crafting there a little bit faster again. Tourist table is okay, but it's not as good, and every little bit counts when you do as much crafting as I end up doing later on. I want a heavy battery mod, so I can modify this welder to use those heavy batteries when these medium ones eventually die, because it's going to happen. Chances are I won't be able to do all of the vehicle work I want to before I run out of batteries. On board chemistry lab. I need the steel frame, which I've brought over. Where did I put it? I know I brought... oh, are they here? Yeah, here we go. One of these. Carry it over to my table here. There we go. Build an onboard chemistry lab. Because this will let me do the proper chemistry work in my fire truck without extra tools. It's also got a bit of storage because most modules you can place in cars have a bit of storage. And some clothes. Yep, I'll do those last because I'll just skip to the finished products. Ah yes. I need storage battery cases because I want to be able to freely install and remove my storage batteries for the vehicle. This will be handy later on when I have smaller vehicles that I want to be able to fold up and still want to be able to use a massive battery in. Then lastly, because I can, I'm going to make a leather seat. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste. But at the same time, I feel like I should. Yep, it's getting hot. Alright, grab my sled, get all of those items over to the work area. How much is left in my poor welder? Almost killed the first battery already. We need start vehicle construction right here using the foldable light frame and this will be my little looter this will be my shopping cart 
Make sure to feed Freddy. No good if he's starving to death. Okay, this is what vehicle construction is going to look like, so this is why I'm going to, going to skip quite a lot of it. Find casters. I went back and stole two sets of casters from the swivel chairs in that office building. They're going to be very good here. And now, old... Oh. Oh. Huh. Helps if I pick up my welding goggles. There we are. Pair of welding goggles. Just grab those. You don't actually need to put them on. They just have to be in your inventory. Now. Old. Holding shopping cart basket. This is now a foldable vehicle that can carry 150 liters of stuff. While folded, it itself is only 9.75. It is kind of heavy though, nearly 30 pounds. But I can put that in the back of my fire truck whenever I'm not using it, and it will make looting quite a bit easier, certainly more efficient. Now for the other foldable vehicle, the mini lifter. I, I could have gone with the alliteration again, but I didn't want to wear that out already. <laughs> Fine caster. And now... Find telescopic crane, there we go. Seven jacking quality, seven lifting quality. I won't be using it for jacking because I have a bottle jack, but the lifting is needed to get out to get storage batteries and engines out of vehicles. There we go. Fold that up. And now we have another folding vehicle that's heavier but smaller than the shopping cart. Right, I'm going to cut recording a bit, make sure that I've got all of my stuff in order, and then I'm going to start stripping these things down and cutting up that footage so you can see the progress, but not have to wait through all of the screens. Now that I have all the pieces and have a little bit of time here, I'm going to make my new clothing before I forget again. This is Light Nomad Gear, one of my favorite clothing items in the game, actually. Lots of storage, fairly low encumbrance, just ignore the poor fit there. And it's not too warm, so you can wear it during summer. I'm going to put this together. Then we have some new gauntlets, made out of chitin from the giant cockroaches. Very good defense, fairly low encumbrance for how tough they are, and not too warm, so I should be able to wear them in the upcoming summer. And then finally, to go with the new gauntlets, we have a pair of chitinous boots. Not too heavy, again. Encumbrance is low for how tough they are, and these are also very low warmth. Good for summer. Took some time to read the one tailoring book I have, so now my ta tailoring is at level 5. To complete my armor set, I'm going to get this pair of chitin arm guards. Another favorite item of mine. Very reliable. And unfortunately, there are no chitin leg guards that I'm aware of. But I can make a pair of iron greaves. They're rather heavy, and their coverage is not as good as I would like. But it's much better than what I've got currently. And here we are. Here is Freddy's current armor loadout. There's a lot of stuff here, but it's all in the right place. None of the encumbrance numbers are too high. The legs, the leg and feet encumbrance is a bit higher than I would like, but it's better than losing my legs and feet. Now we're finally going to get to what we're supposed to be doing, and working on the cars. One last thing to say here, I promise then I'll get to the hopefully time lapse. If it doesn't turn out well enough, I will just leave it out and apologize. But I've got all of the pieces I want from town. I'm going to be cutting these up, piecing them together, and then next episode we'll be driving away. But I will at least test it out before we get that far. 
So, be right back with hopefully something watchable. Finally, after several in-game days, and I'm pretty sure what was a few hours, the fire truck is assembled. There are curtains here, which is... actually there are curtains right here, which is why the light cuts off. So I can sleep without worrying about light coming in through the windshield and waking me up. I have a few floor trunks, some big cargo spaces. I have a kitchen unit, a chem lab, a mini fridge, the proper workbench, some stow boards for outside storage, a door to enter through the back that also has a security camera facing backwards, there's a stereo system, where is it, right here, that will play music when I'm working and driving. I have all 12 of my solar panels on top of this thing. There is a trunk with a battery recharging station that I can use to recharge all of those light, medium, and heavy batteries I've been picking up. The leather seats installed with a 5-point harness in case I crash. There's a dashboard here to control all the electronics. There's a control unit back here to also control the electronics if I don't feel like walking up to the front. The new engine is installed, as you can see at the top there. It's not the biggest, it's only a V6, but it's a diesel. So I can save the gasoline for crafting or for a smaller vehicle, should I? end up with one of those. Let's see, let's show off the camera system a bit. Yep, fire truck starts up. Where is, yes, turn on my camera system. There we go. For some reason it was just to, oops, I'm bashing off the wind, wing mirror because I'm not paying attention. Let's drive this big boy out here back it up so I could get all my stuff packed when I feel like it and get out of here without hitting any of the other cars. There we go. There's also a turret mount up here in the front and right here. So when I actually have weapons and ammo to use in these turrets I can and be mostly safe from my fire truck here. There's also an aisle light back here, so I can craft without needing natural light. There's a bed right here, because I'm going to be using this as my home from now on. And I think that about covers it for this rather monstrous fire truck now. It's just stretched out, hollowed out, and filled with whatever useful stuff I have at the moment. Not sure how the time lapse went, if it's going to go at all, but I'm going to have to call it here because I'm going to be out of time otherwise. Bit of a boring episode for some, with the disappointing wizard tower and building most of a useful vehicle in one sitting, but I am all out of time for this episode, unfortunately. So, if you're still here, thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe for more Cataclysm in the future. If you like what you see here, leave me a like and a comment down below and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. If you don't like what you see, please let me know why and I'll see what I can do better. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you next time.